that vision upon your own. You don't have to seek it. And you'll burn in hell forever and ever. You'll burn there. And you know what the Bible says over the 16th chapter of book of Luke? The Bible says there was two, a rich man and a beggar. And let me tell you something, the Bible says they both died. And that old beggar, the Bible says, was carried at the bosom of Abraham there by the angel. The Bible says that the rich man died in hell. He lifted up his eyes. You know why? That rich man was in hell. wasn't because of the riches of this world. It was because he didn't take time how to be born again somewhere along the way. He didn't have time for God. He didn't have time for him today. I'm telling you, if you want to say this sister again, according to her testimony, you better be preparing to meet God. You better be ready. Oh, you say, don't you scare my children like that. Let me tell you something today. And do you love your children? Do you love them? You want to be afraid of God. You want them to be afraid of that awful place called hell. You want them to escape that. Let me tell you something today. And because they don't hear the word, and that gospel will prick their heart. And let me tell you something. They don't seek after God. They'll die and burn in hell. Burn forever and ever. I was said in a place that where their worm dies and all. And you know what? It'd be good if you and if you die without God, and there'll probably be some here. Say as it'll be, there'll probably be some here today die and go to hell. That's sad, you know what? You know that. But you know what? That ain't God's will. His will, whosoever calls in the name of the Lord shall be saved. His will. You read on down there on the part, part third chapter, John 3, 16. And you go ahead and read that. And what this say about the man? He says this, For the God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whose love waits on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Right. Now look at him. Look at this. If you reject the Lord, and you have that issue, you are a free will, a free will for a good thing. In other words, you can make the decision whether to reject him or to seek him. You can make that decision. I'm not saying make a decision in your mind to be saved. Salvation is of the heart. The soul of man, the inward part, I believed in Jesus Christ with my mind all my life. My mom and daddy took me to church all my life. But I'm going to tell you what, as a 10 year old boy, when I saw him yonder, now he was a single boy, I believed from the heart. Amen. The heart. Now let's look at this. Y'all may get that part of hearing me in a minute. I'm going to tell you something. I want God to give a little glory and honor today. He ain't gonna get it out of my maybe maybe get it out of somebody else. But I want him to have glory and honor today. Let me tell you something. There'll be people today. The Bible says that salvation is between you and Jesus. Between you and God. The Bible says that there's only one mediator between you and God, and that is Christ Jesus. Amen. That puts mankind out of the matter, you know? That puts the preacher out of it. That's right. uh, that, that that puts the Deacons out of it. That puts uh, the Pope or whatever you want to call. say. That puts all those things out of it. It's between you and Jesus. Between you and God. You and Him. There'll be people today to tell you. Oh, you come up and you shake my hand and you repeat this prayer and you'll be all right. That's not being born again. There'll be people today. You can go to church. These big fine churches around. Got, got nothing against them except most of them are teaching a lie. But you can go and they'll come in, they'll tell you, you sign this card, you'll be a member of him, we'll baptize you, you'll be all right, you're just showing up with us, everything will be all right. That's not salvation, uh, that's deceitfulness, you'll burn and put hell light on. There'll be people today tell you just anything you want to hear to give their self glory, but the Bible says salvation is of the Lord, between you and God. Amen. Amen. Born again. 